Hi everyone, this is Goran again from Security Technical Marketing at Cisco. I wanted to share a quick video on the new solution on rapid threat containment between Firepower Management Center and APIC. What we do in this solution is we allow customers to do a automatic quarantine of infected workloads. The way that this works is we can deploy any of the variants of our firepower uh, capabilities, whether they are our next-gen firewall with firepower threat defense image, virtual or physical, our firepower services embedded in ASA or NGIPS appliance, uh, physical or virtual, attached to the fabric can actually inspect and block the attacks from the infected uh, workload. Uh, provide that event into our manager FMC and allow it through this remediation module to tell APIC to quarantine it into a microseg EPG. This is well documented in our quick start guide that you can review online. Here's that same picture that we were reviewing and all the steps that uh, uh, remediation takes for quarantine to occur. This is giving you uh, capability on what workloads this works and uh, types of insertion into of your service graph into EPGs, whether it's bridged or routed, and what types of workload, right? Bare metal, DVS, and AVS. We are working on adding other workloads as well to this capability. The way that this works is that you have to import the remediation module as the first step. Um, and after importing it into FMC, you basically configure it to talk properly to APIC. Um, we do enable it for that particular remediation. Um, then we can configure either a rule in an access control policy uh, to trigger on, or it can be also a malware event, an IPS event. Um, we do log these connections and under correlation we can then identify the policy and the rule and enable our response to that trigger as well. In, in my case, I am using Telnet rule and Telnet protocol to block as a trigger. And here, what I'll show you as well in the correlation status is when you have a successful, successful remediation, you will see that um, uh, log and then any other problems that you encounter during this remediation. If you wanted to download this, it's simply available on cisco.com under um, hardware management center appliances as its own category. So let's switch to APIC now and take a look at what we have. In APIC I have a simple three-tier app and will be focused on this particular contract app to DB that has the FTD service graph. That is a virtual appliance that's inserted in an unmanaged service graph it is a layer 3 device, Go2, and this identifies its interfaces as VNICs that shadow EPGs are actually attached to. So this particular service graph is just in place between the two EPGs. It is a routed insertion. So here in APIC I do have a USEG EPG that's currently nothing is defined in. My two workloads are here on the left. On top is the app EPG, which is this address that you see here. And the bottom database EPG workload has this address. We can identify both of those addresses in operational tab here. Here's that app. And here's that database. Now if we switch to our FMC, here we can actually look at the, our device, which is a virtual firepower threat defense 
image under its configuration we can see its interfaces and zones in the policy itself as I mentioned I have my blocking telnet rule defined here and that's what I'm going to trigger my remediation on and actually there's a rule after that that allows these other protocols to actually come through if we look at our remediation module on FMC it is configured to talk to APIC so here it is it's imported this is how you import it here simply the file that I showed you and you have to add a new instance here that defines the credentials and IP address of APIC we can handle up to five APIC uh, units in a cluster if we take a look at the correlation here there we actually define and enable the policy and under the rule we actually define our trigger which is in this case our policy and the telnet rule identified over here so let's take a look at the demo now what we're going to do is under analysis and correlation we will go to the status and here we're going to take a look at APIC while we're doing that and take a look at the microseg EPGs here for the first part we do have connectivity between these two workloads that are coming through our next-gen firewall virtual we can see that and immediately as I attempt my block connection right here what we can see is that the quarantine has occurred on APIC by form of FMC talking to it and actually quarantining that IP address you can see the connectivity from database to app has ceased and this is only the case for that particular VM the contract between the two EPGs is unaffected for any other workloads outside of an infected host if I go to FMC here and take a look at the logs I will see that I have a successful remediation that has occurred completion of that remediation and I can also look at correlation events for any other information um, on on this type of activity if I actually remove this quarantine that would be what you would do once you had disinfected or cleaned up this workload it can go back to its base CPG and continue to perform its function you can see here that connectivity had resumed between the database and app so this is the demo that I wanted to show you I hope you had enjoyed it and thank you for your attention